guys, I just picked up the keys from my new apartment and it's currently very empty but it is so so beautiful there's a lot of light in here and I wanna show you around because I'll be moving tomorrow really early in the morning and I think it's the perfect timing for me to show you how the apartment looks like without the furniture I'm very excited so let's take a look as soon as you get into this apartment you see the living room and there is a kitchen on the left this building is around 10 years old and the kitchen here has a very unique style it doesn't look like one of those more than white and beige kitchens i would say that this one is more masculine especially with this wooden cabinets and copper inserts and it gives me a vintage vibe and I think it has a lot of charm and character to it. Honestly, I was a bit hesitant at first and I wasn't really sure how I feel about this kitchen. And initially I was looking for a clean, modern look of the kitchen, but there is something special about this one. And even though it is a bit dark, I decided to give it a go and find my way around it. The landlord told me that the countertop is the real marble and I should be careful with it so we'll see how difficult it is to maintain it but I absolutely love how much counter space I get in here and the sink is also pretty big and convenient. The kitchen comes with a washer and dryer. They deep cleaned it literally just last week and now it feels like a brand new washer. You can see how clean it is and I don't even need to wash it beforehand, which is perfect. There's a lot of storage that I can utilize. And one of the most exciting things is a gas stove. I do prefer gas cooker to induction because I can use wok for Chinese dishes and somehow the food taste is different and better when cooked with a gas stove. And right underneath there is a microwave oven and an oven. It's two in one and I actually haven't had an oven for a while and I'm excited to bake a banana bread again. So yeah, I think this is a great addition to this apartment. All the top cabinets will be used for cups and plates and I think there should be enough space for everything. when you turn around you see a really massive cabinet on the right and the most right part of it is the fridge and the freezer full size right next to it there is a sliding cabinet for more stuff I think maybe I'll place some kitchen appliances in here and there's also one gigantic cabinet on the left that I have no idea what to use for probably something that doesn't fit anywhere else and here on the bottom you can see a wine fridge which is crazy because one of the apartments that I was touring recently had an actual fridge this size. The landlord told me that it fits about 24 wine bottles and I think it's insane. I don't think I'll ever be able to fill it up. So this is the living room and now it's about 11 a.m. And I love how shiny and bright it gets in the morning. There's a little balcony in the living room and the view from this apartment is so beautiful. It was one of the main things on the list for me, so I think it checks the box. Right from the living room we're moving into the bedroom. And this flat is 330 three square feet and the bedroom feels so much bigger than the one I had in my old apartment. There is a built-in wardrobe on the left and honestly I would prefer to have no wardrobe because I think it just messes the look of the space and it just takes so much air from the room. I could definitely get away with a dresser and the clothes rail. It just looks so much airy and it leaves a lot of room in the room and I just personally like that a bit more. But it's not a big deal, I'll just find the most convenient way for me to use this wardrobe. So there's a mirror inside and a little drawer in the bottom. 
and I'm planning to remove this floating shelf and get a tall chest of drawers a dresser and put it inside the wardrobe so I can use it for all the clothes that I couldn't hang. The bathroom is probably my favorite place in this apartment. It checked literally all the boxes. It feels and looks so luxurious. There's a window for extra light. There's a bathtub which is relatively rare for Hong Kong but I love taking baths so this is perfect for me. There's plenty of storage in here and it doesn't feel cramped or lacking like space so I think I'll be really happy with this bathroom. I'm moving in tomorrow and I'm a little nervous because it's a new area, it's a new experience and the change is freaking scary but you know it feels right. And I'm excited to build a lot of great memories in this apartment. Let's see where this journey takes me.